American news brings you our people's contribution to America and freedom. is not only editor and general manager of the Atlanta Daily World, only Negro daily newspaper, but he also heads the Scott Syndicate, comprising 18 weeklies and two semi-weeklies, with Mrs. Scott and daughters, Portia and Jocelyn. Flanoy English of Louisville, Kentucky, received a $100 award. A suggestion he made to his employers at the Quartermaster Depot won him the prize and saved thousands of man hours. congratulate you, Father Hines, on your 20th anniversary. Thanks, Chef. Suppose you tell the folks something about your sensational career. That would be a pleasure. I started out as a pianist. And now, after being in show business as long as I have, I've been instrumental in many stars coming to what we might say the stage and the screen, such as Herbie Jeffries, who is now in California, also Philly Franklin, who is with Porgy, Porgy and Bess, and uh, several others I'm sure that you had the pleasure of listening to as far as records is concerned, like Madeline Green, Four Varieties, and the grandfather who needs no introduction, Billy Eckstein. Well, I'll say he doesn't need an introduction. That's very fine, Earl. And I see on the other side your company has prepared a little treat for you. So suppose we step over there. That's fine. A cake marks the 20th anniversary of Earl Hines in the show world as hosts of friends wish the great artist and star maker many more successful years. Today is Children's Day at the USO Club near Camp Shanks at Orangeburg, New York. 1,000 children, many of them needy little ones, are guests of honor of the G.I. Joe. One of the soldiers plays Santa, and there's a gift for every youngster. The USO is good to the G.I.s. And now the soldiers reciprocate. The war has complicated a lot of things. So, Milady is timely with her hairstyles. Did you ever see anything more involved than the coiffures of these two lovelies? Girls as pretty as these shouldn't have to worry about how they fashion their tresses. But obviously, they want to be right in style. So what? So this? A pretty girl is like a melody. Must have been written about these lassies. So, if your girl is late for a date, you'll know she's trying a new hairdo. Rockwood Field, Birmingham, Alabama, known as the Vulcan Bowl. A mammoth crowd witnessed the battle. Tuskegee has a record of only three losses out of 12 games this year. And Tennessee, two losses and a tie. The players warm up. Tennessee goes into the fray with the title of Midwest Conference champs. Tuskegee is famous for its T formation and defensive strength. The kickoff. Three members of each team were picked for the 1944 All-American Negro 11. Bass, Tuskegee halfback, gains three yards. He's an All-American. 
That's Tabor of Tennessee trapped on a pass, and he gains two yards. Tabor's pass is intercepted by Bass. Quarterback Tabor is another All-American. Gilmore of Tennessee gains six yards. A gray day, but a bright crowd. Bass goes over for a touchdown. Final score shows the odds on favorites beaten by 13 to nothing. On his tour of inspection of Great Lakes Naval Training Base, Bishop Gregg visits the kitchen. The church dignitary is interested in the chow our boys are getting. He and the other guests find the ham steaks very tasty indeed. Nobody can say our boys aren't well fed with the nation's very best. Apples and other fresh fruit grace the menu. Bishop Gregg brought good cheer to our boys on the firing lines in just about every theater of war during his recent journey. Now the gobs pass in review for the noted church leader and humanitarian. He is seen with Great Lakes officers. The bishop is much impressed with the splendid showing made by the men of his race at this leading naval base as elsewhere in the war effort. He is doing much to encourage our fighting men.